Hi everybody and welcome to the global snapshot for the month of September. First of all, I would like to thank you for continuing praying for us and standing with us in every operation that we are making. But above all, I thank you for your friendship and your partnership with us in all the major issues. Uh, as we discussed uh, last month and you, can, you saw the footage of us delivering the medication and, and, and delivering food uh, to the people in Iraq, I would like to announce that the second step is coming soon for security purposes. We know to give you the dates when I'm traveling back again to the Middle East. It will be the more focus on Syria this time instead of Iraq. And just the good news that uh, as we are moving forward, uh, we are having great success and we are hoping to save more of the Christian and the Yazidi girls from the hand of ISIS. But above all, this is the pace of, of also sending medical and, and food supplies to all our five refugee camps to the best of our ability. And one of the new projects that we start to work on is uh, fire trucks. One of the issues that when we went to the refugee camps uh, in, in Iraq last time, uh, many of, of the refugees came that, uh, and indicated that there's many fires will take place because the electricity that they are using, the wires, and many times, whatever the reason of the fire, the fire become very large fire very quickly and touch every tent and, and almost because it's all refugee, uh, rev refugee camps in a tent, uh, the fire just, you know, uh, everywhere in a very short period and many people die. Uh, I want to thank our team here in Canada for looking at it. I want to thank our team in England to look at as well the same option. We have great team in, in both countries that are looking how we can uh, afford the fire trucks and how we can send it and how we can ship it. Uh, um, very Coming very soon, uh, I will be in Syria. I will make sure that I will carry your prayers, your donations, your help and your support. To the, to the people of this refugee camps, to the Yazidi girls, to the uh, minority refugees, to everyone that in need. So keep us in your prayers and thank you for being with us. As we're talking right now as well, many times we spoke about Muhammad al-Attar case. Muhammad al-Attar case or Joseph al-Attar converted from Islam to Christianity. He was arrested in Egypt. He had he dual Canadian and an, an Egyptian citizenship. He was arrested in Egypt on a false accusation that he is a spy to Israel. Muhammad al attar received 15 years in prison. He now been behind bars for almost more than 12 years. He was tortured. He was uh, forced to drink his urine. They electrify him to torture him in every way possible they can imagine. And no one of our Canadian government spoke about it. Nobody cared about this man. When we, when we confronted the foreign affairs, they told us that they took a necessary step. But after 12 years he's in prison with no resolution, I really, and we really started to doubt that the Canadian government taking the proper steps. Muhammad al attar is a close friend and brother to all of us, even if we don't know him. He's a close friend and a brother in the Lord, but he's also a man that's facing injustice and we all have to stand beside him. I never met him, I never spoke with him, but recently I received two letters from him from the Egyptian prison. And this was quite accomplishment because that's the first time that we hear from him in 12 years. We met with the Egyptian embassy, we met uh, with the different members of the Canadian Foreign Affairs or Global Affairs uh, Partnership with uh, Andy Elias and, and uh, Amnesty International and so far we are pushing hard in releasing this man. Keep him in your prayer, watching the new, keep watching the news because this story will be breaking news story very soon. As we are celebrating the freedom of religion here in Canada, every day I thank God for Canada. I came here to our Canadian soil 17 years ago. I came here knowing that this is the temple for human right. Canada is, our, is the conscience for the world. Through the years that I was persecuted, tortured in Egypt for freedom of religion, I was shocked, saddened, and disappointed to see in Quebec they're passing a new law preventing a public servant
from wearing a religious symbol. If it's a keeper or a Christian cross or hijab. And I have a serious problem with that and I will tell you why. Because this is against our values and our principles because this is giving the people the license to be racist and to discriminate against each other. I have a problem with that because I believe that the Quebecian people, the Canadian people and Quebecian people is better than that. I have a problem with that because I know that this is not in the Canadian conscience. I understand the concerns of the other side. I understand that there is a fear of maybe extremists from certain religion or all religion that can take, take over their society and definitely were against any extreme from any religion. However, we cannot prevent the people to worship, to believe, to do what they believe as long as they are not hurting the society. Dear friends, today this has become on our Canadian conscience. Today I can tell you that your email to your MP, to whatever political party that you're believing in or you will vote in in October, we have to take the step to make sure that Quebec is like the rest of Canada respecting human rights and the freedom of religion. Sadly, because the election is coming, the Canadian election is coming in October, sadly all four political parties, if Liberal or Conservative or NDB or Green, is silenced about this matter because they are afraid to lose the vote of the French people of Quebec. And I can tell you by now, we need to speak up. And our hope, beside God, our hope that in all Canada and in all Quebec, to stand beside us and to stop this stain in our Canadian history. We are taking the necessary steps. Please uh, look forward to our website and our Facebook and our tweet. Uh, go to our channel on YouTube, subscribe, and we thank you for being with us, and we're looking forward to see you next month. God bless.